Hey guys, I've been testing testing these brand new bearings that we got, these Chinese J cage bearings. Um, super nice, you probably can't see there, probably can't see it that well, but uh, um, inside you can see a steel cage. Um, they sometimes call them crown, crown cages as well. Um, I'm not entirely too sure if there might be subtle differences, but you can see a slight cage in there. Very, very, in design, very, very similar to um, the EZO ones and what they come this is this is one I've actually opened up normally normally there's a shield where well, there will be a shield on um, on them and inside they pack them with grease so so I think for airsoft slightly better to have them shielded that way you're not going to get any little bits of metal that have come off the some of the gears in there and and, it, and it's going to prolong prolong the life um, so what I've been doing I'm um, just got a just got an ENC shell here that I use for testing. Um, this has got this has been fitted with um, six of six of these um, J cage bearings. Um, I've first of all just did a normal normal build with um, I think it was an M one fifty M one fifty spring full stroke around about two thousand rounds through it. Then uh, did a short stroke with a M one sixty another two thousand rounds, and then finally. Finally, a DSG, um, find it around about 340 feet per second. Um, just, just been doing small bursts, um, maybe two, three thousand rounds. Um, so, what's next? Gonna open this up. Gonna examine the uh, the parts. It's also using some of those new, new um, XT parts that uh, I recently put on the website. So um, I think it's got the piston in there, and it's got the it's got the pom piston head as well, the nylon piston head. Um, so um, what I'm going to do now, um, open it up, and then have a quick look. Right, so we got the uh, we got the gearbox open. Um, this is the one nice thing that I found with, um, with this ENC shell is that fitting these fitting these were great. It was so easy. The other ones just just a little. There's, there's no glue needed. You don't have to glue them in. It's just a little, a little tap out, a little tap, tap one out of the old ones. These ones, these ones just, just go in. A little bit of pressure, maybe a little bit of a tap, a little bit of tap on the hammer, just to push them in, and they, and they just seal really nicely, really nicely. Um, you can see. I think I've showed you this already, but you can see no problems at all. Problems at all with this bearing at all? I've, I've been over, checked them, checked them all over. Um, no problems, no issues whatsoever. And um, you can see, you can see the, the extra height on here. So most bearings, most stock bearings are two and a half mil. These are three mil. Um, you don't get any any really real issues with them, um, apart from on the selector side. You may get a little bit of rubbing where where they bulge out an extra half a mil. Um, I didn't, on this ENC gearbox shell, I didn't get any rubbing at all, so they work perfectly. I just, they just, they just popped in and this, this sort of just went on, no problems at all. Um, so I think it's, I think it's something to do with the uh, design of the ENC selector plate here. It's, if you look on the other, if you look on the reverse, there's there's quite a lot cut away and it's and it and it just it just works really well. There's no problems at all with that. So that's so on the bearing side of things, really happy with them, really happy how they worked, how they turned out. This is the uh the XT cylinder and um and nylon piston head. Um again, no no problems at all. No problems at all. Given what abuse this has this has literally had. Um in the last in the last week or so no problems at all it's been it's been good as gold and there's no cracks in there there's no it's not come out I've not I, I didn't even use any any sort of Loctite or lock thread on the nut or anything I just I just put it straight in there and and it's been fine yeah but normal bit of wear on the um, on the steel rack no cracks on this uh, particular type of uh, of piston. It's a really nice piston. I didn't order any. This is just a sample piston that uh, that they gave me. I didn't actually order any of these because 
Oh, I just, just, just. I thought I had a, quite enough of them, but I'm really liking these. It's slightly, just slightly different design, um, but it's it's so strong. It's it's really so strong. Um, uh, at some point, when I get enough of them, I'll get some sort of test. I'll put them in a vice or something just to see just to see how strong it is. But uh, but it's so good. I really like these. Really, and this this combination worked really well. Um, so all in all, um, pretty decent. Pretty decent. Really impressed with these. Really impressed with these. I've got I've got a few hundred coming. So and they'll be they'll be super cheap. So they'll they'll be like a tenner for for six, which is which is only four quid more than than a normal set. Um, um, so we'll, we'll we'll do them we'll do them slightly cheaper to start with, and then just to get them out there, and so people can test them and and try them out. Um, but uh, um, we'll just see how they go from there. Okay, thanks a lot. Oh, and the uh, the motor that was running in all the tests was this Gear Parts 14 TPA motor with the SHS pinion gear. No, no visible marks really on this on the pinion gear. It's in perfect condition. Um, of course, some more of these come in. There are going to be some slight improvements. There's might maybe a vent cut in, and it's going to have the the epoxy on the on the wiring tabs. Uh, a few other fitment issues which were going to be fixed um really happy with these it's worked out really well it was absolutely i can i can feel any heat coming from coming from the um coming from the grip at all when running this uh, so really happy with these